episode On the left I have Matthew On the right Sir Trey Trey what? <laughs> Trey what? <laughs> That's right Is you even doing What we doing I'm slower sorry <laughs> Trill talk. Trill talk. Talk. And guys, it's your favorite people. Stuff happens. We're gonna keep talking about it. It's your boy Draven, that Deerbrook Dunn, that Northside Crooked Tear. What's up? Straight to the moon with ya. Damn. It's right. your boy <laughs> Matt, aka Lucky Chef Boy RD. Yo, boy, the one you should know. I can't keep going. I'm just trying to think of names. Yeah, AKA, like, I don't know. Oh, AKA, man, oh, get man. back to me. <laughs> AKA, next video. <laughs> AKA, Trey. <laughs> they, AKA, they, they call AKA, me. Right, they call they me. Call me Mr. They call me Mr. AKA. AKA. <laughs> because occasionally I'm known as AKA. It's your boy, Mr. AKA. Straight to this. <laughs> and I don't we play. I don't play. Yeah. Mm. All right, uh, I'm gonna put my arm up here right here. Can you see my shirt, guys? I don't know if you can see my shirt. I usually wear some type of wrestling shirt or cloud shirt. Those are my favorite things to wear on the video because I like representing uh, what we do here, and I also like representing the wrestlers that I support since I am a wrestling fanatic. Yeah. What do you call those things? Wrestling hands? Yeah, yeah. A wrestling aficionado? Oh, there you go. There you go. Go with that. That sounds good. What scary. would be the coolest name for a wrestling fan? Uh, number one fan. Cool. Um, we're going to be talking about a couple of things, and by a couple of things, I mean the same stuff. We always talk about a lot of stuff. We're just going to jump right into sports, bro. I, I'm sports. talking about We're going to jump right into it, like jumping out the gym. Sports. Oh, I was <laughs> like as I said, we're gonna jump right up here really like, quiet. Like no one says nothing. Like we about to, we about to we're really get on. It now we about to get on the sports. Football fans, get ready. <laughs> First of three days of your new teammates, aka the NFL draft. Other than that, we got the NBA playoffs coming to conclusion for some teams, ended for other teams, and still working on the road. And or home for other teams. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, what's my call? The Miami Heat just Miami went fishing. Heat. Yep. Yeah. They're they're, they're down playing vacation. Packing. They're going back to the beach houses. You know. Hopefully, um, this is not Dwayne Wade's last game. It probably will be his last. Maybe game. you never know. If it was me, I would. Yeah, he got. He could get one more season at least. Nah. Come off the bench, like dude, he could. But why? Why would you come off the bench though? Why I mean, would he need to start? Dwayne Wade. Wade. Zeros? Right? So, he was doing it all this year. Right? Yeah. He's still but, getting paid. That's all he cares. He's like, I'm still paying. But he got no I'm money to be like, all right. Still getting I'm paid. Cool. I'm I don't cool. know. I think he should come back. I think he should. If uh, he come back, he need to come off the bench on a playoff team. Okay, oh, for I feel sure. You playoff I'm team. For, yeah, okay, okay, I feel you on that. But he got his rings. Um, what good teams like to do. They like to lose one game just so they can close out at home. Um, what's my card? Uh, oh, you want to say something about your boy? BW? Oh. AKA the fashion Mr. Westbrook. icon. AKA Westbrook. Icon. Fashionista. AKA is King Cooper. Maybe it's King Cooper. AKA the OKC's okay, team leader. That's a team leader? Okay, look. The, their saying. experiment was a failed experiment, but so did the Miami Heat in the first year. Doesn't mean that it can't work. Russell Westbrook needs to cool, he needs to learn how to cool himself down. Honestly, if you're going to be a leader of a team, you can't be the most hot-headed person. That's why Wolverine never was the leader. Raphael was never the leader. Until this new season. Uh, which is why this cartoon is going to fail. But anyways, <laughs> uh, like, you just can't be that hot-headed. You, like, you know what I mean? You need those guys for, like, he's not certain... Yeah. He's well, been, he he's been, he's he been was... that, that hot-headed for the last 10 years. Yeah, the whole time he's been there. He like, can't not be a hot-headed. Look, this guy says you can't do it, Westbrook. I feel like you can do whatever you want to do, bro. Reading Rainbow. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just feel like, you know, it, it just goes to show you. Man, for the way they're losing, yeah. it just is like, it's sad. I, I mean, I, you would think, like, with that power, I don't know. You think it's Melo's fault? Hell no. no. Don't even no. come there with that. No. This gentleman came <laughs> to the team and the aspects of not even being, like, the major one. He was supposed to help out. 
It's not his fault these guys are not don't their their they're IQs not, they, they don't gel, their IQs are different. Like you know what I mean? They're different parts of a robot that don't work. You know, it can't be Mills, it can't be one person's fault because it's a team sport. Hey, that can be majority of someone's fault. Yeah, majority. Probably yeah. it's gonna be the coach most likely. Uh we'll see. I mean good. I just feel like that team is trash anyway. Um Westbrook, I'm sorry, bro. Um if you're not backing James Harden, you're you're uh, yeah. You're done. Yeah, all right. Over. Durant liked that picture on yeah. purpose. I don't care what anybody says. Man, he just scared, bro. It's because Durant so he's so little. He need a sandwich. He, he probably gonna tell you, you need to lose some weight. What's so? You like wow. So what? Who, who <laughs> want to say something that we both don't know? Right. Now we know you need a sandwich, and I need to lose some. All right. I, I hate when people say out. stuff like in response to that, like, hey man, you know maybe you should get a little weight and you can they post up better. He's like, oh, you need to lose weight. I mean, it doesn't mean that I'm. Wrong. <laughs> it okay. doesn't mean that you're wrong, but now, okay, now that we've established that I need to lose weight, yeah. can you please uh, work in your post game? Yeah. Like he's a wonderful player, dude. He's he's definitely yeah, gonna be a legend. Yeah. yeah, I just feel like it, I don't know. He's it, definitely in there. He's a hall of famer for sure. Yeah, it can be either or. It's always like a what if. It's like a. a I mean, I could easily say that he could gain weight and then mess up his shot. I'm like, ooh, I'm sorry, dude. You know what I mean? It's his oh, life. Man, Ultimately, bro. it's up to him. I just oh, feel like. Yeah. He should just give it a shot. Just like I always said, the Texans should give a quarterback a shot. And yeah, least, you know what I mean? look at it. Well, so, if I ever say anything in these videos, I really don't care enough to hate people, all right? Like, that's a lot of work. And, you know, too we're, much. On, too much work. we're on the planet for a short period of time of our lives. So, let's just focus on not doing that. Like, can we eat sandwiches or play a game, do something else, something tight? So if you guys are gonna hate on me, go for it. You know, as long as you keep watching, that's fine. I think this playoff has been really interesting compared to the past couple of ones. Like you already knew kind of where it's gonna go, and this one's kind of up in the air. So that's why it's been more exciting than the past years because you kind of already felt like it's either the Cavs or the Warriors. So people were yeah, already, like, already set on the Cavs set on and the Warriors, Warriors and bored about it. So it wasn't they really got exciting. New people coming in, and shaking stuff up. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it was exciting for the Warriors and Cavs fans, but for everybody else, they're like, oh, okay, whatever. Anyways, yeah, you, let me know where that arrow store back jerseys. If you got one, like post a picture in the comment section right. below. I want to see, see those arrows. Back, those arrows jerseys, bro. Represent the Houston Thunder Bears. All right, we out. Oh, <laughs> we out. the Houston Thunder Bears. Is what it do, boys. Uh, our next topic is gonna be comic books. Cook, 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 cook. Comic books. That's right, boys. Comic books. <laughs> he likes our comic books. Yeah. And we get lots of our comic books information and fandom at comic conventions. Wait, I wanna... No? You don't? You don't go to comic conventions and get your fandom on? Oh, you mean you say you like to go to comic... Wait, what? <laughs> Big news is uh, Marvel not going to Hall H this year at Comic-Con uh, comic, comic 2018. What's Hall H? That's what I mean. You're talking, talking like everybody knows. Let me just say it like this. Marvel's not going to be at Comic Con this year. Yeah. Uh -huh. Basically. They're not going to be there. Well, they'll That's be there. It, it, they'll just, be there, but they're not going to premiere or show anything new. Which oh, is what so they usually know the for. So they're, they're not going to oh, okay. So they're going to save it all for 2019 yeah. after Avengers 4. Oh, man. That's some bullshit. Yeah, so they're not doing nothing, so they ain't there. <laughs> so no they, they'll do their they ten no year, point, their yeah. ten year, ten year anniversary thing, whatever, behind the movie studios. But they're not gonna talk about anything that you haven't known or haven't seen. I got it. <laughs> I, like, I got it. I just got it. <laughs> I, I got you. Bro. I, got you. I, I got you. I got you. I got you, bro. <laughs> Damn, I thought that Marvel was gonna be there, man. That's booty. Yeah. And so that means you really gotta have to wait for anything cool about at least the new movies that they haven't talked about yet. Well, that's fine. So a lot of people think that they might not be able to keep it quiet for that long because, keep it quiet. like, what their movies are gonna be, what they're gonna be working on, because eventually they're gonna have to start filming and negotiating contracts. So somebody's gonna start talking. Somebody's gonna say something. So we'll probably know maybe sometime after Comic Comic Con to get more information because the closer it gets to filming they're gonna have to say something so basically they announced some new dates yep they announced they six got new dates six new dates which means they got six new movies coming uh -huh. they're not gonna be a comic con this year because they don't want anything to leak out uh -huh. and as of right now no one really knows and we're gonna find out a little bit later basically that's what they're hoping and then we have 
Comic Palooza going on here in Houston on May 25th to the 27th. And they got some pretty heavy hitters coming. Tom Holland from Spider Man, Charlie Cox from Daredevil, the uh, Netflix show, Christian Ritter from Jessica Jones. Who from Daredevil? Charlie Cox, the guy that played Daredevil. Okay. So he'll be here. There's a whole list of people. If you go to their website, check it out, you'll see all the guests. But I think I'm going to go to this one and uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think if I want to stand in line for a Spider Man. And then ask them what's going to happen in the Avengers 4. Yeah. And Hopefully they... <laughs> that's exactly what's going to happen. Everybody's going to be in line like, like, hey, you know man, what? I know you I'm can't saying, say nothing. It's like, you know, Can I, you tell me? He's going to be like, excuse me. I know I've said, I've said no to every man that's stepped in front me of me no? today. Me? I've said it in front of every child. Do you, sir? You. Something's different about you. Yes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'll spill my guts. <laughs> yes. He's going to give me Please. all the info. Yeah. Be I best friends by the man. He's like, you know what? No one ever told me that. You know what? Go ahead. Let me come here. Like, I, be <laughs> I wouldn't guy. tell nobody. Man. The, next, the, next, the next thing is going to be you like jazz on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Well, hopefully he has a panel. So that way yeah. you'll get maybe something. Cause I, just like, I like going to those conventions because I'm excited to see the cosplay. You know, yeah. Honestly, that's a lot. That's cosplay. one of the major reasons. The I love the good. dedication and time for it. I love seeing the artists and stuff too. You know, I, I had a spot there one time. I want to get a spot there again. I think it might be a little bit late for us to get a spot there this yeah, year. Yeah. But um, we'll probably just be there, period. So we'll have some uh, cards and stuff to give out. If you want, if you see us going around, please yeah, say hi. Say what's up. Might have our camera with us. You never know what the tease is going on. Be... You know what I mean? I want to meet some cosplayers so they can help me learn how to make my own costume. Right. I want to cosplay myself. I want to dress up as... Not as much. I don't want to cosplay as someone crazy. Okay. <laughs> cosplay as myself. I'm going to cosplay as Maddie Matheson. Oh, that'd be a good one. That's it for comic books. That's apparently that's all the time we had. The timer went off. So, uh, shout out to Comic Palooza. Go check that out this year. Uh, shout out to all the people going to Comic Palooza. And it's their and 10th anniversary. Their 10th anniversary. Shout out to that. <laughs> and if uh, Tom Holland or anybody um, coming to Comic Palooza or coming to Houston or seeing this, and you want to do a little fun interview with us, or you have time for us, <laughs> maybe. Uh, there's a lot more stuff going on in the comic book world. Uh, we'll get into it next time. And, uh, oh yeah, we'll, we'll, hopefully we'll do a little before and after video for the Avengers tomorrow. So look out for that, guys. All right? So it's going to be it for comments. We're going to jump into the next topic. What is? Yeah. All right, guys. Our next topic is going to be food. Is this going to be food? Is that what we're going to be? Or music? Well, because... Oh, food. I'm it could be either one. You I'm got something for food? Yeah, I'm going to tell you All right, about guys. this recipe. Okay. This next topic, I'm going to straight up and down and tell you. It's going to be about food. I don't know if you you couldn't tell that we just debated that right now, and we just figured it up on the fly, but that's the point of our show. Okay. Everything's on the fly. That's what we do. Unscripted. We like talking about it. All right? We talk about it. That's what we want to do, all right? Stuff happened right there. So I'm trying to tell us what to do. And we're going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're talking about food. All right? I, I don't know why I said food like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so happy it. about food. Yeah. So tell us, tell us about this restaurant you were talking about. Yeah. Well, first of all, you guys ever been to Q? She? Q? She? Q she. That sounds fair. Yeah, I have not been. Is that barbecue sushi place? Yes. Oh, have you been there? No, I think I went there, and some of my reason I didn't eat there. Damn, that sounds. Bad. And that's what I was saying. Cause like, how do I know this Q? She is like, oh yeah, it's a barbecue sushi place. Yeah, it's off. And uh, uh, Cypress and 45. I'm scared that I ate it and I was like, it was like, well, you know, if I eat somewhere and I can't remember a, a, a damn thing about it, that means it didn't do it. it, yeah, it I think it's terrible. That means. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, or is, you didn't like it. Or maybe I had a terrible dish there. Or maybe I had a bad experience like me and the girl broke up or fought. So it's basically Texas barbecue and sushi, right? Pretty much, yeah. They, they got so like different the, items. Like one, one item um, has... Rib, like, uh, the definition is like slow cooked rib meat mm -hmm. with uh, crab meat, uh, shrimp tempura, you know, the Masiago sauce and whatnot, and most of the wraps are. Mm -hmm. I don't know Masiago sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you it's said. It, no. You said it in such everywhere. confidence, and you, told, you threw it at us, and like, come on, nigga. I, I, I just yeah. like, my brain went, okay. So, <laughs> 
that's my <laughs> skill sauce. Hey, that, that, that's how that's I read it. I was like, all right, cool. Well, it, okay. it may be on the good. I don't know. Okay, so, he does what he does. But, is. okay, keep going. Know. My shit, I go it's so like, that, that's, that's the premise of most of their stuff is the like, roles. Okay. Like, yeah. like, I had, so, I had the brisket yeah. ones. So they're basically yeah. the roles, though. You know they're the roles with brisket or pulled pork, but with crab meat. Or uh, salmon. Uh, salmon is uh, so both together. Yeah. 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 yeah, both of them put together. And so they got you your doing? you got your natural you got your other, you know, you got wings, you got your barbecue, you got your pulled pork sandwiches, your brisket sandwiches. So Appetizers I had we had uh loaded fries with brisket. Hey, I want some barbecue now. Hey. You know what? So <laughs> barbecue. You don't, there's not too many good barbecue places around right? I can't Only remember why I know the place, so out of that sense, like you said, I'm just gonna have to go back. I don't know. I mean, it, it, has to bad. it looks good. I mean, like if you're open and do you know what I do? Look I mean, like, that's what I'm saying. Like if you're size. open, then you you should, like. Yeah. I'm pull up the menu mm. so you can look at it. like they have. I mean, I love stuff. sushi. I love barbecue. That's good enough for me. All right. So you said it. sushi and barbecue. I'll Watch out, sushi. Yeah, yeah boy, exactly. That's, I'm intrigued. It's a nice little place. We went there. Happy hour. We just got the happy hour. Wasn't packed. It was. Fast. It was a happy hour. It was happy hour and uh thirty percent off all premium rolls mm -hmm. and other percentage off other things, but we just had a premium nice roll. Okay. But I mean that's food. Guys, I'm coming with some chef videos for you guys. Yeah, yeah. see, you've been doing a lot of that stuff on your Snapchat stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing telling that you. on my Snap. I'm gonna come up with some videos um cooking. I'm gonna come up with about a good twelve videos. Yeah, uh, get so, ready. So you guys get ready for that. It's gonna be desserts and dinners and other stuff. Oh, and you. If you guys want me to make something, hey, put it in the comments and I'll do that. I'll do a video on that. I'm open. Right. I'm open to sampling. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, and another thing too. Uh, Trey made a video about a recent visit yeah. to Hop Doppy um, on yeah. 420. So it's on our Facebook right now, guys. So y'all can check it out. It was their uh, one day only 420 burger, and we actually got to try it. They only made, yeah, it, it was, it was yeah, a one day only burger. Day. Apparently, they only made 100, and we did get a chance to try it ourselves. And um, uh, today, they actually messaged you back. Yeah, um, asking. Asking if we had any ideas for any other holidays. And you know your boy always told you, I got so many ideas. I got so many ideas. So hopefully I can make a burger for hot dog, you guys. Yes, like, I got some. Be dope. I got some crazy <laughs> ideas, uh, you know. So if the, if a holiday is coming up, hopefully maybe I can work on a deal and I can do their holiday burgers or come up with something crazy. I watch way too much Food Network and Bob's right. Burgers <laughs> not to be able to do this, guys. Oh, Bob's Burgers. So other than that, that's gonna be it for food. You know, we already went over the little timer, and uh, we'll hit back on you on the other stuff. So we'll munch, on lunch and brunch later. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, so we just had a person teleport in on this video, uh, straight X-Men style. If you don't know by now, you can watch the last video, and I'm not going to explain it to you, which means you have to watch the last video because I want some more views on it. Um, introduce yourself. Hi. I told you, you were getting that information. It doesn't matter what her name is. Uh, this section of this topic is going to be music, so we, we brought her in. She's our music specialist and our editor. Let's just jump into it. Jocelyn, you are here, so any, anything you're jamming to, anything you want to talk about music, because in our own personal time, you did have a lot to talk about today. <laughs> she had a lot to say to me. Music, what would you have to say? <laughs> What's up? No, I had, we, I sent him a video of uh, somebody comparing J. Cole and Little Pump. Pump had this J. Cole. And I so, knew this already. Okay, I didn't know. And so, J. Cole came out with some... I guess some song in his in, last album. In response. In response to that, yeah. And so I saw this video of his new album. The, uh, what's what's it called? Nineteen eighty five is the last song on the album. And so on there, he's basically telling all these young rappers that you know if they keep it up, that you, they're gonna be in love and hip hop in five years if they don't switch up their style and stuff. Damn, they been saying we in love and hip hop. Man. Yeah. So I was like, uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> so I sent it to James and I was like, that's why I can't get behind Little Pump. Oh, because J. Cole said Because it's true what he was saying. He validated it's true. He valid feelings yeah, for it. he validated. It's like it's okay. I understand That's his that opinion. Yeah, it, that's exactly how I feel. Uh, he's I he's young, he's young, so I know that that's how he raps, but 
Jayco is just advising him as an older person that if he can switch it up later on, he'll keep surviving. This, if this old counselor ass nigga don't <laughs> show if he don't take this to an after school special, so if you don't get okay, his old so, like, have, so have you guys listened to his album? Schoolhouse Rock. I've heard about it, but I haven't heard. You I haven't have, heard that. If you don't take his toilet, 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 toilet. Well, I know that he was talking well, in reference to this, him. This yeah. new out, al this album that came out, he does have a the. I guess it's a single. That's out ATM. Mm -hmm. I think it's a cool song to jam to. Okay, well, can you just go ahead and just tell them why you sent that to me? Because you feel like just because I like Little Pump's music that I can't like a Little Pump. Dude, he I was, likes uh, Little Pump. Dude, I like. It but it's, <laughs> let, let me just say this. this let, me, let me defend myself on the on the fact that I like. I like music for what it is, and I don't feel like they're in the, even the same like, genre. Hold on, is he better than Six Nine? Look, no, that's, I okay. think six nine. She is likes six nine. She has, she likes six nine. And Pump is definitely better than six nine, bro. No. Six nine is another. He's he's a Latino <laughs> McMill. He screams all the time in every song. Uh, he sounds the same. All right. He's a Latino McMill. All right. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, I, Twilight, Carly, and Walker Flock are not the same. Walker never admitted to being the best lyricist, and Pump said the same thing. He's just having fun. So why can't we? I, I need both. I'm a person of many feelings. But you feelings. don't. Jake no, Cole. I you just don't no. Like, I, it's not no. It's not like that I don't like him. You don't like no, doing any of I don't jam. I don't jam. <laughs> you don't like I don't listen to him. You don't like. I don't. Lamar I don't listen to. I don't listen to Lamar. I don't listen to Lamar. It's yeah. just not for me. He doesn't I, listen to him. He doesn't listen to Jake Cole. I'll take my politics from an actual person in the debate. Like but I don't get a uh, background music to it. It's just the way that Damn, they. Damn, you don't like Jake Cole. Well, it's fine. No, I told you he's like more like a jazzy guy to me. Like he he sounds like a hip hop jazz. He's, he's like hip hop jazz. jazz. He's very lyrical <laughs> in a jazz sense. You know what I mean? And that's perfectly fine. You know what I mean? Like, I, but I'm uh, a little bit more educated. I, the, the the things he's trying to get across is not for me because it's for educating the person that may not know these the things. The conclusion and that's I came to fine. is that James likes ratchet music. No, because I'm not saying that he shouldn't be out there because some people need that message. But the message is not for me, baby. I've already been Wakanda for life. All right. You're not gonna Kanye, dump. Kanye's coming out with another album. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like Kanye's a good in between. So I like so people that are. Yeah, you know I've been. You know I was the biggest clips fan. I have every clips, anything. So you like push your teeth? Push your teeth. Yeah, push yeah, a ton. Right? Push a ton of that stuff to make your nose run. Come on. I'm sorry. What's up? Yeah, sure. Like I, I'm all about that. I'm just and he's Woo! a very lyrical. He's, he's way yeah. more lyrical yeah. than Pump. He's just a different style of lyrical. You know what I'm saying? Because he writes about different things. And sometimes I need a different feeling. Sometimes I want to feel like a hustler. I'll listen to Pusha T. Sometimes I just want to turn up and not think while I'm drinking and partying and I'm looking at girls. I don't need to be listening to lyrics. You only need so I want to escape it. Escape it. You know what I'm saying? Or I, want, <laughs> or I go, you know, like some old walk fuck it. Hey, you know, you know what kind of love. Uh, they, you know, some of them say they're going to say hard, but I'm going to say I'm harder. Right. You know, you know what I mean? Go some going to say they're going to grind, but I'm going to grind smarter. Some people gonna say the lights are shining, but all them lights are on me. But even he sounds better than little. Grind and flex, now I'm balling out. Flocka, Flocka, and Pump, come on. Hey, he's coming back, so why not? Flocka. Hey, honestly, this is how I'm saying. I just want Little Pump and Flocka to have a mixtape together. No. And I want Uzi and Pharrell to do a mixtape together. Okay, oh, I, yeah. can, I can fuck with that. I want an Uzi slash Pharrell mixtape, and I want a pump and, and um, <laughs> water. Wow. Yeah, just so I can just get super hype. Mm, no. Yeah. Somebody else. Six no. nine. No. All right. Bye. Come on. Hey. <laughs> you know, Fini, finish, desk, eat, kaput. It's over. Vendetta. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not Italian okay. for it's over? Okay, guys. That's, so close. Close. that's a wrap. <laughs> uh, and cut. Uh, that's going to be it for us, guys. It's another great episode of Trill Talk. Stuff happens. We talk about it. You already know what it is. You already been here. Uh, I'm, thank you for joining us this week, Jocelyn. Maybe we You're get welcome. Some, yeah. yeah. We're going to start trying to have some more special guests in here today. And get some more opinions from her and her music opinions and all her great gossip stuff. So um, follow her. I'm pretty sure she'll put her name somewhere down there. So we got cards now, and um, we're gonna be putting some shirts on sale soon to try to get rid of that uh, 
That old merch, so we can bring some new stuff Overstock. in there for you guys. Overstock. Yeah. And check out our um, our Hop Dobby video uh -huh. on our on recent Facebook video. Yeah, and... on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Facebook. Yes. Yes. So uh, thank you guys again, and uh, we're all, we're pretty close to 50 subscribers. Uh, like always, man. Like and subscribe, and thanks always, guys. Uh, Space City Cloud is out. You know what the DZ is. Peace. Peace. Leave some comments. Like us. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Tell your friends. Pass it along. Let them know. Like from now on, Cloud is life. Freedom to drink, guys.